Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to my virtual reality update log. This, as you can see from the title, is the second version of the Sword Art Online GUI, which you can see right here. Now, visually, it is almost identical to the first version, but there are a few key improvements, which, as you have seen just then, include the ability to move the menu around, and not just to move it forwards or backwards or right or left or up or down, I can also scale the menu to whatever size I want it to be. So say I want to play with these blocks over here without the menu being in the way, I can move the menu over here and turn off the hand movement, and then it won't move accidentally. I can even close these if I just wanted to be a bit more discreet, and I can play with my blocks. Or if I want to get rid of it completely, I can turn off the menu here. So the first step in terms of using this menu are the hand relative buttons, which only appear when your hands are like this. So I can have my hands here, 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 and there they are. So anything I'm doing, if I'm fighting an opponent, doing some punches, you know, I'm not going to accidentally trigger the menu or accidentally open it. But when I want it, I know exactly how to get it. And there it is, right where I left it. Now maybe I prefer it to be down, nearer to me, and maybe I like to have it really nice and small, just about here. So with the accuracy of the leap motion, with individual fingers, I can still operate and the menu works as functionally as you would expect it to every single time. Now the menu, again, isn't entirely filled out. There are many submenus which don't have any particular use, but this will come when I eventually do implement it into a game I make, whether a Sword Art Online themed game or whether it's something else entirely. So let me show you a few of the different things we have, and let me actually make this a little bit bigger because it is a little bit ridiculous this small. There we go. So, I've got a generic leap motion, which is the camera that's giving me my hands, a generic leap motion skill, there it is by accident, to draw. I can pinch my fingers and I can draw whatever shape I like in space. This is quite fun, and in fact I actually made a separate very small application, uh, which I was considering loading into this menu uh, to change the colour and change the thickness of, of everything I wanted. Now, once I've finished messing about and I've made whatever mess I like in 3D space, I can go back to the skill and I can disable it and it'll all disappear. Now, the sub-menu over here has these little LEDs, which, when the skill is activated, they light up, showing that that is the case. What shall I, what shall I draw? How about... let's do something very quickly. This is actually uh, what I saw a leap motion person make. Look, it's a little palm tree on a bit of an island with some waves in the background. <laughs> Enough of my rubbish art skills, we don't need this. Little coconuts, we don't need this. Let's get rid of it and let's have a bit of a play with something else. So, more than just games, we have the same functional experience. We've got allowing the menu movement from within the menu itself, like so. And we've got a help menu for resetting the positional tracking, so I can stand here, and boom! Positional tracking has been reset, and the menu moves back to its default position. And that is pretty much it for this virtual reality update log. I wanted to show you the little features we have on the second version. It doesn't seem like much of an improvement, because really there isn't much more to it, but what has been improved is the code, the underlying efficiency of the code itself. It's nicely commented, it's nicely laid out, it uses all sorts of different code routines, rather than relying on uh, calculations that are made every single frame, so it is far more efficient. And it's something that I'm actually happy to give out for download. So, in the link of this video, you will find a download for this little demo. Really, all it is is this. You require a leap motion in order to use it, obviously, which is also linked in the description of the video. If you want to support me on Patreon, me and my virtual reality shenanigans, you can do so. All the money from Patreon will be put towards virtual reality investments, whether it's buying new headsets or buying new technology, or simply for making these kind of applications 
I'm not going to promise any applications because I am still in school, but I will be doing what I can. So, ladies and gents, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and you find all this as nice <laughs> and as satisfying as I do. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all next time.